Hi everyone, this is Jordan and today I'm going to talk about Google and I'm going to share with you what's my idea for this one and the setup that I'm looking for. So the very first thing um, that I'm going to do is label here the waves the way I see them and in my opinion we're currently inside, inside wave number four which is this consolidation. And in my opinion, we're going to see the price moving lower for another wave, okay? At least this is what the LED waves are suggesting and the way I'm reading it, uh, this is how I see it. Next, we can see that we have earnings scheduled for July 26th, which is, let's say a week from now, okay? Next week we have earnings. Now it's understandable given the, the current uh, circumstances that pretty much the whole world is going through uh, that we can see some decrease in there. And in my opinion, that could be a fantastic trigger for this thing to find um, the, the reason to go lower. If that would be the case, the levels that we need to pay attention to are, of course, the previous swing high, which is the end of wave three, the way I see it. Plus, this is a fantastic level on its own. As we can see, this is a previous zone of consolidation. And logically, the price found the bottom here, starting uh, the next wave right there. In terms of projections for the fifth wave, assuming that this right here is the top, right? and you need to adjust the deflator on switches and it goes slightly higher. But we get 1900, 1933 to be specific, 1805 on the lower end. So this is the zone that we have a projection, the projection for, projection for the end of wave five. All that means I will be looking for some opportunities here, okay? Now, looking at it, um, from a different perspective and looking for extra confirmation as the way discretionary trading works for me. And we're going for Spotlight Platform X. The web scanner is now live, by the way, so you can go ahead and check it out. We have a free version there, which allows you to check out some uh, pairs for free. But in general, what I'm interested here is to check out what we see for Google and the long term for Google is still strong bearish in a bullish correction and the recommendation from the hour is to look for sales, right? If we check out the short term and the mid term, short term is actually only available for MT4, but in the mid term, uh, we can see that we are in a weak bearish, okay? In terms of direction and trend and the recommendation is neutral. That makes a lot of sense if you think about it because the, the uh, midterm and the short term, excuse me, let me just remove it. The midterm and the short term fall into this category right here. And many times you will see that when this thing shows neutral, you're actually trading inside ranges and it picks them up pretty, pretty accurately. So the long term, in my opinion, fits fantastic with the manual analysis and the um, alert wave count at the moment. It fits fantastic with the uh, fundamental side on this chart. And pretty much everything is pointing to the same direction. Now, as to the actual entries, my optimal scenario would be to look for entries inside this zone here if the price manages to push up once again. How exactly I'm looking for these entries and what exactly I'm looking for will be shared in the trader's terminal. So if you're curious and interested, uh, the absolute specifics about my setups and how I'm trading them, please check out my website. Once again, that would be trader's terminal. So that's pretty much all. Um, if you have any questions, find me in Telegram and ping me there in private or you can do that in the comment section right here. Thank you and have a fantastic week ahead.